A lot of the history of modern aviation has passed through AMARC here at Davis Monthan Air Force Base. Now the latest planes to come in here are the B-1s as the Air Force retires part of that bomber fleet. This is a B-1 arriving at Davis Monthan a few weeks ago to head for long-term storage at AMARC, the main Air Force location to store planes and use them for parts to keep other planes flying. The Air Force plans to retire 17 B-1s and keep 45 flying to make room in the budget for a new stealth bomber that's under development. AMARC is the formal name for what's informally called the Boneyard, and it's marking 75 years since the first plane rolled in. In 1946, what was then the Army Air Corps decided Davis Monthan's desert environment was ideal for preserving planes. The first planes coming in were B-29 bombers, critical for winning World War II, but obsolete as the jet age zoomed forward. From roughly 900 planes stored the first year, AMARC has grown to 3,200 planes with plenty of room for more. It's an air power reservoir. It's part of the Ogden Air Logistics Complex, a worldwide repair and supply network led by Brigadier General C. McCauley von Hoffman. She says it's about a $2 billion business that saves money for taxpayers by recycling parts to keep other planes flying and by modernizing planes to keep them effective in their fast-moving world. A lot of moving parts in this, um, and, and it's such a multifaceted um, organization here. People think of it as the boneyard, which is storage is definitely one of the mission sets. But like I, mis like I mentioned, being able to keep existing aircraft that are out in the field um, at the highest capability and at the highest structural um, soundness and airworthiness is what they do here as well. And like many planes stored here, some of the B-1s may come out of retirement to fly again. At Davis-Monthan Air Force Base, Craig Smith, K-Gun 9 on your side.